you're not sanctioning what they did, but you're putting the ball in their part so that they're responsible from that point on, and you've taken the burden off yourself. And even if the person has died, you can still forgive them and get rid of that out of your own system. If you don't, it'll just keep eating on you. And, and you, you've probably seen men and women both in their old age where they're just you know, crappy and contrary and, and uh, don't like anybody. So I encourage you, please forgive. And that's what God says to do. We are to forgive. And he also says that he will take care of vengeance, not us. He has the responsibility of doing that. We don't because we just don't understand all the ramifications going on. And I will say this, that it's generational with this anger. And I, as I look back in history and found out a little more about my own history that uh, my father's father was, something was wrong there uh, because uh, he ne rarely said much about his own, fa own father, but he talked about his mother quite a bit. And I only met my grandfather maybe a half dozen, half dozen times. And uh, at his funeral when he died, my dad happened to be around at the time, and he told me I was going to have to go uh, and represent the family at his funeral. And out of all the four kids and a dozen or so grandkids, yeah, 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 yeah. Only, only one at the funeral. So something happened. Something happened way back then. And probably before that, something else in the next, at previous generation. So we can't carry their grudges against the present one because they're probably having the same problems as we are.